welcome you to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in Southern New Jersey for our main event of the evening. Ten rounds of heavyweight action. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Lewis has got his eye on the prize. He has complete focus on his ring walk here. Isaac Frost now making his way to the ring, and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. All right, fellas, let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. And they are underway, scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. That was a fine block by Lewis. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. What does the boxer have to be very aware of in terms of how he can get himself into trouble when he faces a ball? Well, there's a couple areas that the boxer really has to be on his P's and Q's. One, don't get trapped on the ropes because then you're allowing the brawler to have exactly the place he wants. Also, when you're stepping away, and you're going to be going away from a strong guy, don't step away naked. Isaac Frost isn't a one-punch-at-a-time kind of guy. He will throw combinations like that. Halfway through this round here. Nice block by Lewis. Well, the big man with the big walking stick, Isaac Frost, handling his opponent with the jab. Right to the body. Double jab upstairs. He has his target. He lands a straight right. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Scored well up top. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Let it go. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Listen, you need to move your head more side to side, okay? I want to see that head move more. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right hand, all right? And you are winning this fight. Okay, breathe in. Take a deep breath. It's a great job that round. Here we go. Round two is underway. That is an ice cold right hand by Isaac Frost. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Straight right was lined up, but he missed. Isaac Frost showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Isaac Frost was nearly knocked down right there, but instead, now you see his brain starting to think a little bit. All right. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. It was in his scope, and he pulled the trigger with that straight shot, scoring the knockdown. 
And he had a beautiful sight there. Big Isaac Frost. What will he do now? Rising up after being knocked down. Able to dismiss that body shot. Halfway through round number two. Not able to land the uppercut. Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Lewis. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shoulder back, and then come right back with the counter. his blocking ability is doing well for him there. Banking away a body shot with the right hand. That's a solid hook by Lewis. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Lewis. Well placed, straight right hand. That is a sharp uppercut by Lewis. Lewis's three-punch combination there is going to impress the judges. And we come to the end of round number two. Well, we've seen this before. A fighter with a bad cut, and sometimes a fighter that now has a much greater sense of urgency. Yeah, right now, if he was gambling, if he was in a casino, he's rolling the dice. He's hoping to come up with seven. Don't look for Johnny Punch. Frost gets a chance at redemption here with a fresh round, but Teddy, I'm always concerned as to how a fighter looks after he's been knocked down in the last round. Well, it depends how much experience he has, and he has enough experience to handle this, to kind of shake it off, get himself together, and move forward. Lewis is proving to be elusive. Oh, they both land flush with uppercuts. Lewis's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to block. He did it there well. Combo lands to the head. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. 90 seconds to go here in this round. He's starting to gain some momentum here, especially if he can keep connecting with the left hand like that. Isaac Frost is so good with that left. Wow, is he defensively sound. To the head he goes with a left hand. Oh, you gotta love Isaac Frost there landing the uppercut. That was something. A smart and resourceful uppercut by Lewis. Unable to score with the hook. The old 1-2 scores for him. Able to get rid of that one. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Commits to the straight right. Big, big uppercut from Isaac Frost, who's a big, big man. When you're losing this fight, you need to take some chances now. You have to take a chance with this guy, all right? Let's take a look at Teddy's scorecard, where you can see that he's only got that one round in the bank so far at the beginning of round number four. But Teddy, just the psychology of the game, knowing that you've put your man down on the canvas, you really don't care about the scorecard at that point. Well, you know you're the boss, and you can continue to be the boss. And more importantly, your opponent now, he's a little concerned about throwing something. He might get caught, he might get hurt again.
Protect. 